Today I have this patriotic gnome that I picked up at Hobby Lobby. He was $5.99 in the seasonal section. And I'm going to start by painting him with Snow Owl by Wise Owl. Just one coat just to give me a base to work from. With this one coat, I'm still going to be able to see the lines in the uh, already marked out areas. And I'm going to start with the nose and I'm just kind of marking and making my... Um, different parts of his face. So I started with some brown, some uh, Republic red, and then I'm gonna move on and I'll deal with that later. So I'm starting with the stripes that are in the hat and I'm using an art brush to um, color in the areas and outline and I'm doing every other stripe red and leaving the other one white. I'm using our Republic Red from Wise Owl. And again, you can find art brushes right at the Dollar General. And you want something that has a small end to it. Now I'm going in with Bowie and I'm going to color in the rim of the hat and the star at the end of his hat. Now I'm kind of taking some more Snow Owl and putting on a little thicker application. It's a little hard for you to see, but I'm kind of making um, the lines of the beard and just kind of marking it out with a little heavy paint. And then I'm going in with a brush of the black. And now I'm gonna get some more defined lines and then soften them with some white. And I'm just going back and forth till I have the look that I'm looking for. His mittens, I'm doing the Republic red and his feet will be the black. And then now I'm just going in and doing second coats and touching up his nose. I wanted to make it a little redder and then added a little bit more white. Kind of wanted his nose to pop a little bit more. So I found these distressed stars. They're from Folk Art. I picked them up at Michael's. It's just a little small, like a four by four stencil. And I'm just gonna just lay that down and using a foam dabber and a very little amount of paint, I'm just picking random stars. I have no pattern that I'm using. I'm just gonna do random stars on the rim of his hat. Now I had this 12 inch um, wire form wreath and I'm taking some burlap and this is probably one of the easiest wreaths that you can make and it's called a bubble wreath and you're just on every crossbar you're taking a zip tie and you're tying down the burlap and just going straight over and you're kind of um, pushing it forward so that you get this little bubble effect. And then the last piece I just... Um, sift it through to the bottom and tie that off with a zip tie and then you want to cut all your zip ties off and this is just a base for my gnome and I'm going to take some popsicle sticks and some wire and glue the wire down underneath these popsicle sticks and now it gives me um, a bracket to tie to the burlap wreath.
I'm going to flip it upside down and I'm going to tie the wire to the wreath form. I really love the burlap with the red, white, and blue. I found this strand of beads with the USA star also at Hobby Lobby. I glued the star in one hand with hot glue, and then I'm going to use some E6000 for the other hand with the bead. And then there you go. Now you have this great patriotic uh, gnome. I did have to release some of the beads to shorten up my strand and then put the tassel back on. I really hope you enjoyed this video. For other tutorials, go check us out on YouTube. You can now watch all our videos at chalkitupfancy.com. For any paint products, tissue paper transfers, or mesh stencils, chalkitupfancy.com. Thank you.